morning. It is early at the crack of noon. Adam here. Um, today's the day. Uh, we got the job interview at three. And, um, as promised, this is the vlog. The whole day vlog of me going to the interview and the excitement that goes around that. Oh boy. I am tired. I'm a bit grumpy. Let's start this day and the vlog. Cue the music. Well, I don't even know what exactly my name is right now. <laughs> and Madam Lee is somewhere probably at her mom's, which is next door. Or she's out in the living room either way. She's not here next to me, so she is gone. I'm like half dead, so two things gotta happen. Adam Lee needs his coffee, I'm gonna get in the shower, I'm gonna shave. And he's gonna pick a nice dress out. Look pretty, but it's the best perfume on. Do his lipstick good. And... Mm hmm, gonna look good. Just kidding. But. Yeah, that's pretty much. <sighs> the gist of my plans is we're gonna get up, make some coffee. Take a shower, get dressed, shave, put my cologne on, and I figure we would leave a little bit early. Um, oh, you guys are already making me get up. What kind of shit is this? It is, it is snowing. It is snowing bad. So, that's what we got to look forward to. Yay, fun stuff for us. All right guys, let's go make some coffee. You know, for a long time, Adam Lee had been used to the whole traditional coffee pot, filters, and all that other shit. But Adam Lee got introduced to the Keurig from Adam Lee. So he's going to give it a little shot, and he's been getting used to it a little bit, obviously. Nothing. Gets my day started better than the Maxwell in my cup. It's the best part of waking up. I know it's their coffee rival slogan, but fuck it. It's the best part of waking up for my day. They can kiss my ass. Look at that goodness. Sounds so wrong. <laughs> oh boy. Looking like Adam Lee sleeping himself. That's how tired he is and how bad he is he that he needs that coffee. Well. Here we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
is the best cup of coffee I'll have all fucking day because it is my start of the fucking day and the boost I need. Alright guys, so I've been thinking which is dangerous for Adam Lee when he's tired. Now, the roads right now are looking really bad. Um, see, where Adam Lee lives right now, uh, it is now snowing. And probably is for most of the north, most of the, the north, northeast, you know them. But, uh, over here in particular, the people who are paid to plow the streets by the city are um, not doing a great job. They are neglecting the roads that I use, and uh, he is about nervous. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about driving out there, especially on the new chariot that Adam Lee uses to get around. Uh, I know a lot of you watched the vlog, well, not the vlog, well, see, I'm tired. The q and I did for Pimp Monster, and one of the questions he asked was... What kind of vehicle do I drive? And if you can recall any of that, see how faithful you guys are to watching the videos, or if you guys are new. I drove a 2012 Subaru Legacy. And it was an okay car. Um, Subarus are nice. I had a steering wheel paddle shift. More gears, more fun, but it was a sporty little thing for the 2012. It's not a bad thing, but the previous Madame Lee that I lived with, um, she's not even a Madame Lee anymore. She's a Madame bitch. <laughs> but um, there's Madame bitch and Madame Lee. <laughs> We'll call her that, Madam Bitch. How about that? See the fun things you get to see when I'm waking up? Here it is. This is why we vlog, people. <laughs> but, um... Shit. She, Madam Bitch, more or less, uh... We had... A 2015... Chrysler 200S. And, um, it was new when it came out. We had brand new, we got it in the year of 2015. Well, Madam Bitch totaled the car. So, that was the downgrade. That's what the insurance bid for. So, it is what it is. But now, when I parted ways with Madam Bitch, um, the Madame Lee, um, and her family got together. They, uh, they went to all the houses door to doors, knocking on every fucking door, man. They got every single penny they could, and they, they got me. They got me a car. They got me a car. Fuck. But, um, yeah. They got me a vehicle to use. Madam Lee has her own. I got my own. What I drive? You wanna know what I drive? Why it was so expensive? I got the fucking Batmobile. Yes, I drive the Batmobile. Just like GTA. I drive the Batmobile. 
It's the Batmobile. Yep. Jealous yet? It should be. It's Batmobile. <laughs> anyway, getting back on subject. Um... So, I was thinking about leaving about early. Um, if we, if my interview is at three, I was gonna leave at two. Give myself time to get there, but being that the roads are really bad, I might leave around one thirty. I mean, I'd be there really fucking early, but, I mean, shit, you gotta think about safety, flow of traffic, and still being on time, so, we'll see how it goes. And, I was kind of thinking about something, I mean, I'm not gonna film as I drive, like, here's my hand, and here's my steering wheel, kind of thing. But, I was thinking about mounting the camera on something, and put you guys on the dashboard, so it's still legal, and it's not a danger to me to film. I was kind of thinking about some ideas that I could do as I drive. Maybe take you guys to the part of the journey where you can see what I'm dealing with traffic-wise, but... I want to be safe about it, so if I decide that I can't do nothing to mount the camera on the dashboard and not be safe about it, then I'm not going to film, so no worries. So, <laughs> no worries at all, I'll, I'll be smart about it. I am a smart driver, not a dumb driver. Hell, I don't even answer phone calls or text, so that tells you anything. We'll be, we'll be good. Well, we just finished up the entire cup of coffee, and, um, I looked at the time, it is now half past the monkey's ass, quarter to his balls, and it means that we gotta get our ass in the shower, so, let's go take a shower. Oh, don't worry, Granny. I'll I'll put you in the shower with me, and the camera and all. How you doing, Granny? You know, don't worry. I'll give you a show. I know you long for this show, Granny. We all know how you like my return video. Why not? It's just another thing out of the list, right? Let's knock it off for you. Let's make it happen, Granny. Great. I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> Well, it's not quite the baby blue tuxedo or the orange tuxedo from Dumb and Dumber where Harry or Lloyd got to wear. Granted, though, that'd be... That would be, like, a kick-ass outfit to wear. Like, those tuxedos alone. Not only would it get me the job, I'd be the manager. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that will get the job done, guys. I'll, I'll put this on and do a little dance and all that, but we got to shower first. Okay. Well, that was an amazing shower. I feel a little bit better, but I got dressed. It's time to get this ready because if you want this to match with this you gotta make this look halfway decent so <sighs> fuck I don't know if I should do a time lapse of this or yeah you'll see obviously I just want to know how hard it is to actually comb your head and put gel in your hair as you're trying to film this with one hand it's impressive I did all this with one hand I better get a thumbs up for that shit all right let's keep going 
You know, you've been watching the vlog for the whole time. You're like, you don't need to shave. Where's the mustache at? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Ha ha ha. Entouché. S'il vous plaît. Ich liebe dich. Du bist mein Wiss. Glöffen. Yeah. All of that. Gotta shave that. So, all right, let's get to it. Little baby, little after she on. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> I have way too much fun doing this. But that's what you come to Adam Lee for, right? To see the wackiness that is him. And this is the first time you guys got to spend the whole day with me, if you will. More or less, you will, you were with me from the time I woke up to the time I'm going to the interview, and after the interview, and I might close it up there depending on how it all goes. But yeah, you're getting to see the morning sunshine rise at Adam Lee and waking up early at the crack of noon. I know it's a crazy time to get up, but hey, gotta get up and get that money, right? But, oh boy. Oh, and then I gotta put my special. My special aftershave balm on. Very expensive too. I bought this pretty special. Um, it was one of the, a treat to myself because I needed more shaving gear. So I went out and got myself some shaving gear. I got it while it was on sale, but even while it was on sale, it was still kind of pricey. But at the time. I had that money for it, so I can't be faulted now for getting it, but it lasts a long time, so overall it was a cheap investment, but there I be, son. Yeah, all of that, but we'll be ready. Should we go now? You know what? I don't know either. Um, let's go check things out and see how they are. Before I do that, of course you can't forget to smell good. You know, you gotta you gotta wild them with a smell factor. You gotta be like, oh my god, he smells so good. Mm, I'm gonna cream in my pants. Let's just hire him now. That's the effect that you're looking for. So, take notes, kitties. Speaking of kitties, here is my two adopted children with Madam Lee. This is Stevie. She's six months old. Yeah, she's just like, whatever. And that's Simon. Simon's always been more lovey-dovey, but Garfield, lazy kind of guy. But he's a real sweetheart. So is Stevie. She has her moments, but... Yeah, another inside look of Adam Lee. Alright guys, we're in the car. And uh, we're going to make a little pet stop really quick, get my tobacco, and let's go to the interview. So, let's do it. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see this, but this is my view right now. Um, the roads are really bad. I just stopped to get my tobacco, but... I mean, here's the store, but here's a little publicity for him and Adam Lee. Uh, yeah, this is the driving conditions right now. It's pretty shitty, so I'm obviously not going to film while driving. So I'll talk to you guys when I get there. All right, guys. We are here. This is what the day was all building up for. Now, I am... Um, Approximately, let's check the other phone, let's check the other phone. Yeah, about a half hour, really. Um, well, I'm not going to reveal quite where I'm at yet. We're going to do it like the last time where I was in my last interview. Um, kind of recap you guys on a lot of things. Okay. So 
so you all were familiar on how I lost my job and you all were with me for that mini interview that mini vlog I did for the interview um, this was a full vlog and um, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys how I got prepared, take you through the journey, get you all ready to witness the interview, if you will, kind of witness the preludes to the interview. I'm obviously not going to film inside, but uh, the before and afters. Um, so, looking at this company, I'm going to do like I did last time. I'm going to reveal where I'm at after the interview, and depending on how the interview goes, is where I was really going with all that. Um, we will, I don't know, we'll, we'll do this interview. I'm kind of nervous because when I went to Domino's Pizza, um, when I initially went there to put my application in, they told me they were looking for a cook. And that's what I was with Pizza Hut. And uh, so when I went to go to Domino's, did the interview for them, they steered me in the direction of being a delivery driver. I got that job, but it's not the job I wanted. So now I'm at the second place, and depending on how this one goes, um, is if they don't offer me delivery driving and they offer me a different job that's in there cooking, anything but delivery driving, I'll take it. Because me and Madam Lee are in a spot where we need we need both incomes coming in. I mean, Madam Lee's got a great job doing what she does, but I can't put everything on her. And if you guys were with me for the very beginning of my channel, um, I started my YouTube channel because I was sick. I was dying. And you all didn't know that until the more serious procedures were coming up, and that's where I finally started telling people, okay, this is the deal with me. Well, the whole time, bitchly uh, was taking care of everything. And now this is a situation where I am healthy-ish. I'm functionable. But I uh, need to help put my leader in the house, so we'll uh, we'll push for this job. So we'll see how it goes. So we'll see how this goes. And um, anyway, guys, I might come in a tad bit early, about twenty minutes early. Because, man, I want to get this out of the way. I want to complete this journey and uh, come back with a victory for Madame Lee. And uh, I thought it'd be neat to vlog the experience, the before and afters. And if this was a successful interview, then you guys will have watched me prepare my day before I got the job. And it's always something neat to look back on, too, so. <sighs> you know, I always look at YouTube as a time capsule on my videos to kind of look back and where I was at that time and blah, blah, blah. I mean, the other day was the one-year anniversary of my giveaway for 100 subscribers when I, for when I hit the 100 subscriber I was announcing a giveaway when we reached that and we did and T Jizzle won that giveaway uh, he won $20 for PlayStation um, and it's also been the anniversary for did somebody say yoga part 2 um, you know when I started my channel my main focus on how I got YouTube famous was the Mount Chiliad mystery. I'm pretty well known in the hunter community. 
my work has made some headways and it's caught a lot of major attention. So, um, I'm pretty proud of the accomplishments I have made in the mystery community and the discoveries I have made that no one else has made. Um, those are some legacies I can be thankful for and look back on and say, hey, I did that shit. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, looking back on this whole vlog of the pre before and afters, it's been an interesting experience and Hopefully this will wrap up the job vlog experience and we'll go into some other stuff. I know Pet Monster's been chomping at the bit to get back to GTA. Sue my friend, but obviously there's some other some other priorities to get to first before we can get back to GTA. I know Mr. President Forty has also been dying to get back to GTA. In my absence he's been playing other games, but when it it, it just everyone says that I bring like a GTA magic to the game when I when I play everyone wants to play with me and I don't know quite why but I can certainly imagine that well you all just enjoy my company for one reason or another but I don't know about that but alright guys I think this will do it I'll sign out and I'll see you guys after the interview wish me luck Okay guys, well, I am back from the interview. Well, this one, it went really, really good. Um, what I was hoping wouldn't happen kinda happened, but it didn't. Um, what I mean by that is when I did the initial interview, because I'm obviously over a 18 years old, and they needed to do delivery drivers. They wanted me, wanted me to become a delivery driver, but I immediately shot that down. But they, once they heard me reason why, they more than understood why. But um, anyway, though, guys, um, the interview went really good. She more or less said I got the job, but I'll be given a call next Tuesday for orientation. And then get them in the computer work and um, go from there, guys. Yeah, we'll more or less take this job. I think I'll take this job over Domino's as, and any day of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot down the job offer from Domino's and stick with this company. And um, not going to reveal where I'm at. I mean, I want to, but maybe another day. Maybe we'll save the whole orientation for another vlog, and that's we'll do the reveal. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I love you all. Until next time, guys. Pussara! Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.